in this video we will talk about the structure of glomerulus uh, so what is glomerulus uh, glomerulus is the part of uh, nephron uh, which help in the filtration of the substance uh, uh, from our body fluid so see here it is glomerulus and uh, this is efferent arterioles uh, how efferent arteriole form first see here this is renal artery uh, and renal artery when come it uh, divide into five segmental artery uh, five segmental artery divided into many five regions uh, so when five segmental artery form then uh, one artery go to the in between two medullary pyramids uh, it is called interlobular artery and when it uh, it reach to the end of the medullary pyramid uh, it uh, terminate and bifurcate and form arcuate artery this is arcuate artery and after arcuate artery it go to the in deep in the cortex and form interlobular artery this one is interlobular artery and then uh, interlobular artery this one is efferent arterioles and after efferent arterioles this is glomerulus and this is glomerular capillaries and uh, after glomerular capillaries this is efferent arterioles and this efferent arteriole further go and uh, uh, wrapped around the pct and dct so it is called peritubular capillaries here one thing is noticeable that uh, in the other body re region capillary uh, and and form the venules and further vein but uh, glomerular capillaries does not form the vein it uh, further form the efferent arterioles and then peritubular capillaries and then peritubular capillaries uh, drain into the arcuate veins uh, so uh, this is efferent arterioles and this is efferent arterioles and this is glomerulus uh, we will talk about the glomerulus and glomerular structure and uh, see here this is glomerulus uh, so glo first see here this is efferent arterioles which carry oxygenated blood or carry blood from the our systemic circulation and then afferent arterioles form uh, glomerular capillaries and then glomerular capillaries uh, go to the uh, for, uh, out of the glomerul glomerulus and form efferent arterioles efferent arteriole is uh, thick than the uh, th thin efferent arteriole is thin than the efferent arterioles so here pressure will generate uh, so this is the glomerular capillaries and in between glomerular capillaries mesangial cells are present and uh, glomerular capillaries this is glomerular capillaries and this black one is glomerular basement membrane and uh, this whole structure is called Bowman's capsule and uh, this uh, these cells are uh, called epithelial cell uh, uh, from the basement membrane of the capillaries uh, inside uh, these are endothelial capillary uh, cells of the capillaries and outside this uh, epithelial cells of the Bowman's capsule is present so what is uh, uh, special point of the endothelial cells endothelial cells are present and in endothelial cells there are about 100 gaps are present uh, see here these are endothelial cell these endothelial cells have 100 about 100 pores each in each endothelial cell uh, and each uh, gap is about 7 to 100 nanometer uh, so this endothelial cell have many gaps about 100 gaps so it is called fenestrated capillaries Glo glomerular capillaries is also called fenestrated capillaries and uh, this is a glomerular basement membrane as, and this is the uh, epithelial cell of the Bowman's capsule these epithelial cells have filtration slit see here this is filtration slit it, it is very narrow about uh, 20 to 30 nanometer na nanometer uh, so uh, this uh, filtration slit is uh, more responsible for which molecule is cross the glomerular capillaries and go to the Bowman's ca capsule and PCT 
this is more responsible because this size is small about 20 to 30 nanometer while the uh, uh, fenestrated capillaries have a hole about 7 to 100 nanometer so it is the structure of uh, glomerulus and uh, see here this is bowman's capsule uh, it is a parietal epithelial cell or called parietal epithelial cells and uh, which epithelial cell they, these are uh, attached to the endothel uh, glomerular basement membrane these are called uh, podocyte cells and uh, when we come out of the glomerular there is pct present uh, pct have cuboidal cells and uh, these are brush borders so this br brush border increase surface area about 20 times more uh, so helps in absorption uh, and uh, this is a uh, efferent arterioles and uh, this efferent arterioles further goes and here uh, near the PCT it form uh, peritubular capillaries. So when absorption occur by the PCT cell uh, then it go to the interstitial, interstitial fluid after interstitial fluid it go to the uh, peritubular capillaries. This is all about peritubular capillaries and glomerular structure.